Today's date is April 13th, 2024, and uh, I just got the table all cleaned off. Uh, there's all of this kind of stuff up here and everything. So tomorrow I'm going to be uh, uh, validating uh, the operation of the front end on the uh, PDE. That's this right here. And um, so I'm going to be operating on this, getting this set up. I'm going to try like heck to um, to um, get some hydrogen in here and get a few detonations. I got to get my HEI ignition out and all that stuff. So I got quite a bit on my plate if I'm going to even get anything done tomorrow. Um, so unfortunately this pallet's in the way of all the, my stuff I put away. So I have to get that addressed first. Get that moved out of here. The pallet jack is next door. And then uh, we picked up this uh, overhead crane right here. Anybody interested in buying this, this is uh, available. But um, it's a 480 volt uh, three phase motor on that. So as you can see down here, the, the test stand is ready to start testing. Um, I have to go up this at one step at a time. Anyway, I've got the room pretty much ready to go. I got to uh, fill this in right here and everything. Probably put a couple lights in. But I have most of my stuff here. This is another snow damaged uh, craftsman style light I got to fix. So uh, I'll be using this room up here to build the electrolyzer and that kind of stuff. That's gonna mostly be computer oriented. And then, um, as you can see, I got everything mobile. Almost everything here is on casters or rollers or whatever. And um, well, this is gonna be preliminarily, this is gonna be where we're gonna build around this uh, primary chamber right there. So anyway, this is just an update date for uh, April 13th. I got everything all cleaned up and kind of positioned where it is. So now I can, for the next few days, work on the, um, on getting the front end of the jet put together. So that's where we're at. Today's date is April 15th. 2024 and I'm finally getting down to putting the engine together you, know, you can see all the way through that um, I've got my fuel injection ready to go my HEI is I'm just kind of mocking everything up right now this would be this is for the detonation, this is for the deflagration. This right here is to drive the fuel injectors. And I'll be using um, uh, probably hydrogen and, uh, and propane is what I'm gonna, not pro, well, initially propane, but ultimately it's going to be methane. So, uh, I'm just mocking this up. This is my first prototype. This is steel. It has to be stainless steel, so I can only run it for a few seconds. It gets white hot. So, um, yeah, this is uh, what I'm doing. These are going to be my speed control for uh, for uh, the blower, for my HEI, and for the blower. So, uh, anyway, that's where uh, we're at. I so happy with this table it's so awesome so um, anyway I'm gonna put this on time delay I'm gonna go to lunch and then come back but uh, this is what this uh, whole project is about right here well this is an update um, I've got my uh, this is like my crash card right here I'm uh, trying to recover this battery what I've been do doing is using the 
solar panel to uh, reverse, to drive the uh, lead salt back into, um, uh, re regenerate this by reversing the polarity on it. It doesn't hurt the solar panel because it's just freewheeling and then it it'll gradually uh, get the, I, I think it's shorted out on the bottom and lead sulfate builds up, it shorts out the plates. So I'm just trying to drive those back into, onto the plates. Then uh, I'm mocking up the, um, it, this isn't gonna be the test stand, this is gonna be hanging underneath of something, but for right now, I just want to test the fuel injection and the and the um, sparking. So that's that's this is a standard points distributor, and this is a HEI ignition right here. This um, fuel injection is going in the end of the um, this right here. So um, I've got a. A valve arrangement I have to put together to um, to allow me to use the uh, detonator or the amplifier there compressor whatever you want to call it so uh, I've got I just got a bunch of tubing stainless steel tubing I can use uh, ultimately these these pieces I'll be integrating into this primary tube right here then um, I have some test gauges. I gotta get a cover for this. And what I'm into doing right now is trying to get, this was working earlier. See, I have a, uh, I have a Variac. I think it's in here. Let me see, where is it? It's a uh, variable transformer. And uh, I was going to use that for uh, controlling the speed on the uh, vacuum sweeper. But I don't see the Variac around here. Let's see. Maybe it's over here. Huh. That's interesting. Anyway, I don't have the Variac, so I'm going to... Um, uh, see if I can use these. Uh, <clears throat> these are inductive um, dimmer switches that are for low voltage and I'm hoping that's going to work to do what I want to do with the um, with varying the speed of <clears throat> excuse me once I, I get this together my HEI ignitions are going to be on each side of this and then it'll be belt driven through with the motor off of the off of the vacuum sweeper so anyway that's an update and uh, i'll get back in a little while
Okay, I got it to work. So um, I have to put it back to bed together, but this is a um, good milestone here. See the bariac right there now. See? That's probably about 50 volts. Okay, so that's working. It drove my ears uh, this side of uh, whatever. So uh, anyway, I got that working. That's a big deal. So now I can, um, now that I have that working, um, I'll be mounting these on there. So I got to put that back together and then bring it, bring it over here and um, kind of just get things starting to hook up there. So um, I'm gonna put this back together